Hello you guys! I have gathered you here in this YouTube video to talk about Oscar nominated movies for 2023. And not like every single movie, I just wanted to highlight two video two movies of Best Picture, um, The Banshees of Inishira and Antar that I saw uh, this past week and that I kind of had some ideas and thoughts of it and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, just first of all, before I start talking about the movies, I did want to mention that I do have uh, this beautiful uh, Oscar movie list that I always print out on thegoldnight.com. They also have like lists for the Golden Globes and the SAG Awards usually, and I always print it out and I just love checking off all the movies that I've seen, um, just making notes for myself like where I can watch it, like on Peacock and whatnot or like the prices of it so yeah it's a really great list i love to check it off i know maybe people prefer electronic versions but i love some paper lists too you know so without further ado let's go and talk about the first movie I wanted to talk about is the banshees of indusharan it is nominated for best picture it is on hbo max so it's pretty easy to find but i think it is still streaming in theaters so you could definitely go and do that if you prefer to watch the oscar nominated films in theaters i just streamed it on hbo max and it was pretty good so i did have some ideas and thoughts about this movie i actually really liked it i'm not gonna lie before i watched the movie um a couple people that i know said it's weird um, at first I was like, interesting, so I guess I'm gonna hate it, you know, because that's what I thought. And then when I started watching it, I kind of went into it thinking I'm not gonna like it, I'm gonna be disappointed in this movie, so I think I didn't have a lot of hope for it. I think that's why I ended up really liking it, and it's probably like so far of the movies that I've seen, one of my favorites um, in this year's Oscars is pretty good uh, for my thoughts. Uh, I did want to mention, I think it was like four things about it. Hopefully I remember all four things or maybe it was three things at this point. I don't really remember it now because like when you talk to the camera, you just like forget. But anyway, um, the first idea and thought that I had about this movie was that uh, I like the film editing. I think it was really superb. It does have an Oscar nomination for that. Uh, I liked how in the end when Patrick was sitting in the kitchen and how uh, they set up the scene and the horse is staring into the window, through the window inside, and they're like zooming out. I was like, this is so beautiful. Like, who thought of that? Like, it's so beautiful. I just loved it. I don't know, the whole film editing, the setting, the location was so beautiful. Um, so that was the first point. Um, the second point that I wanted to make was, um, I know like a lot of people said their conversations are weird um, and that's why the movie was weird because it kind of seemed like what is even going on in this movie. Um, I thought over it after I watched the movie like a, like a day or so later. I kind of thought that, okay, it's the 1920s because when Patrick looked at the calendar on his wall, it said 1923. So it was the 1920s. So when you think about it, what were the people going to talk about, you know, in 1920s? They don't have any electronic devices, like, in their faces. Um, news doesn't spread so fast, you know, like, from a different country or even in on the mainland, you know? doesn't spread that fast. So you can't, like, talk about some new thing that just happened, like, an hour ago, you know? Like, right now, I can look on my phone and know exactly what happens, like, five minutes ago, pretty much. Um, so that, so, um, and pretty much I feel like what happens on islands and in that, back in that, those days was like a lot of gossiping about one another, you know? So, uh, they didn't really have a lot of conversations to have. So I think that's why it was weird. Cause what were they going to talk about? The guy's just like, I don't want to be your friend cause you're dull. I mean, he's also dull. He's like, not, he doesn't have what to talk about either. Like he, you know, I mean, yes, he was into music, but you know, it's not like he had anything like interesting to bring to the table. So that's kind of my point of view that I had about that. And then uh, my third point that I wanted to bring about this movie that I thought was really interesting was that it felt like this movie focused a lot of like men's mental health issues, men having like some sort of like 
yeah like an issue because there was not a focus on women like at all like you know it wasn't like i mean yes the sister was like a supporting role but she wasn't like kind of really in his story you know what i'm saying like she wasn't the one who had issues it was patrick and uh, i forgot the name of the guy that said he's doll it was a very um like a three part name um and then that other kid boy man also had issues he's his father was like abusing him and then he committed suicide in the end so i felt like it was a lot of focus on men's health issues mental health which you know we don't really see a lot in movies like that so it's oftentimes women you know or you know something like that so i thought that was very beautiful and i thought uh, that was why i like this movie because it was different so those were the three points um, that I liked most about this movie. I don't think there was a fourth, or if there was, I can't really think about it right now at this time. But if I do, I'll just like write it in the comments below. Um, so that was my idea of that movie um, and why I really liked it. And then the second movie that I wanted to talk about was Tar. Uh, Tar is available on Peacock. It might still be in theaters if you do want to go see it. Uh, it's it is a fictional is about a fictional conductor named Lydia Tarr and her, um, her downfall as a conductor. Uh, I love this movie too. So the Banshees of Inisherin and, and Tarr were the two movies that I really really loved um, from the best picture so far that I've seen. I still haven't seen like about three or four movies, um, so I still you know have a lot of watching to do. But Tarr. I like this movie because it just had a lot of like interesting conversations. I felt like it built in the right linear manner. It wasn't too fast. It wasn't too slow. It built just right, just like the right amount that we needed to see everything like play out with the downfall. It, I felt like my feelings were almost Lydia, like I felt like Lydia Tarr's feelings were my feelings. Like I was feeling what she's feeling with the way the movie progressed and i really like the dialogue scenes how we get to know more about her how we see her life play out i think that was very important in this movie so this movie isn't very action based so there's not like a lot of like bam 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 like you know jumping between like scenes and like stuff happening kind of like top gun yeah it's not like top gun at all um it's more slow paced so i think that's what i liked that i think it uh was definitely a little bit different compared to the other Oscar nominated uh, films on this list that I've seen so far. I guess maybe The Whale um, would be similar, but it's not nominated for Best Picture. And I am a little bit confused. Why? Because it was so good. Um, but I mean, I guess The Whale was a little bit more fast paced than Tar. But yeah, but Tar is really a good movie. I really, really liked it just the conversations and the cinematography with the lighting really worked well and the film editing was too like cut out and jumped into scenes at exactly the precise moment that we needed to figure out the next you know place or the next thing that happened so yeah i really love those two movies and i hope you guys did too or i mean if you didn't that's okay too we all have our own interests and opinions and you could just let me know in the comments below why you didn't like it or why you did like those two movies um, and then before i close out i did just kind of want to review the movies that are nominated for the oscar uh for the best picture and what i think so far of them or if i still have to watch them so all quiet on the western front i still have to watch that movie it is on netflix that is on my list i plan to watch it this weekend and then we do also have Avatar. I likely will not watch that movie. I have, I, I believe I have seen the first one. And if I did, I don't even remember it. But it is not like one of my favorite like genres. I don't like really feel like I really want to watch it. Um, but we will see. And then I already spoke about the Banshees of Inishirin. And then we also have Elvis. Elvis was a really good movie. Like how it was edited film editing, cinematography, everything was so beautiful. The acting was very believable too. I really liked that movie. And when I saw it, I was like, this movie is going to be best picture. However, you know, I had not seen The Banshees of Inishir and I haven't seen Tar. I hadn't seen like any of these movies on this list yet. So, I mean, that was just my first assumption. But I mean, it is nominated for best picture and that was so obvious when it came out. And um, it is definitely going to win 
awards that is for sure um then we have everything everywhere all at once that movie was weird <laughs> like honestly uh i hate to say it i mean i love the acting it was very funny um but it was a little bit strange i think i didn't really get a few of the parts of the movie uh especially with the bagel that one was that was a funny part but i felt that was just way too much i was like what is happening in this movie it's like so many things are happening at once that i'm not even following anymore so that's what i felt like i think it's because of the genres like sci-fi you really have to be into that genre to really i feel like love the movies and i've I like sci-fi books, but movies, I haven't really gotten into those yet, but uh, yeah. I, I really like Jamie Lee Curtis's acting, though. That was really good. I mean, honestly, all of their acting was really good. I just think, like, the plot and the storyline was just, like, way over my head. Then we have The Fablements. I have not seen that one. I, it is just in theaters, but, I mean, you could rent it for, like, $20, but I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, then we also have Tar, which I talked about. I loved it. And then Top Gun Maverick, uh, I've seen that one. Um, I watched that on Paramount Plus. I have not seen the first one, um, so but I just decided to watch the second one. And I mean, it's a good action movie, but I wouldn't say like I know a lot of people have commented that it's like the best movie they've ever seen. I mean, we're all we could all have different opinions. You know, I could hate a movie and you could totally love it. But I I didn't quite see that. I thought it was just like a regular action movie. I think it is a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people who have watched the first one. I did love like the last 40 minutes of the movie though when they were on their mission to go do whatever they were doing and I loved how the Lady Gaga song played into the end of the movie. I felt like that was like the winning song for the Oscar nominated for original song. I mean if Lady Gaga does not win my heart will break because like I feel like that song just sold it but i know for black panther lift me up rihanna song is also really good but i just need to see it in the movie how it is and how it like comes into the movie i feel like it's gonna be between for me it's gonna be between rihanna and lady gaga with how the, the music is in the movie then i also watched triangle of sadness uh i paid 5.99 to stream it that movie was a little strange for me I didn't really like it. I thought it was way too over my head too. I mean, not even like over my head. I just felt like it was a little strange. I think I like didn't, I think I missed something in this movie because that's what I feel like. Um, I mean, it could be like an original screenplay because it was definitely original, something that like a storyline that's not very common or that we typically see, but it was a little bit strange for me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really quite think, I didn't like honestly like that movie. That's probably my least favorite movie out of the nomination so far of that I've seen. And then Woman Talking, I have not seen that movie yet, but it is only available in theaters. Hopefully it'll be available for stre streaming soon. But anyway, you guys, so that was my little, um, these were my little ideas and thoughts of the two best picture movies that I kind of want to really highlight in this video. I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if um, let me know in the comments below whether you like this movies or you hate hated the movies. I just want to talk about the Oscars. I love watching Oscar nominated films and I just love crossing off um, the list of movies that I've seen. I don't know. I'm just like a list person. I just love to do that. So awesome you guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.